goes. We are here. How we doing tonight, family? All right. Yeah. Great. All right. Great. We got it. Right. My name is Jules Ryu Pierre, and I do spoke my vision. The Egyptians constructed the crap they have instilled, wished upon me and fires, spread the words and hurt of our poor mothers who've lost sons to wayward guns and crooked cops. Just boom, boom, drop it low, how low, boom, 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 boom. Those who are either religious or spiritual, I think you'll get something out of it. Because when you're really down, when everybody's down, great, almighty, omnipotent king, omniscient being who makes. No mistakes. Is he? Could it be that you've been here all the while? Like footprints in the sand. While we were backsliding, like you've been standing right by my side. We were the one lost, not God. Now at this juncture, since we're going to be talking about obstacles, how many my father was born in 1929 in Rance, Georgia, 30 miles south of Alaska. allow our main speaker to come forward. As in at the captain's ball, they brought the He joined an organization that I am still currently a member of. Thank you, baby. Everybody for coming out. I want to thank the first time visitors. Could the first time visitors raise your hand? Okay, Inspiration Station. This is our third meeting, like I say, and I'm planning on keep going forward and keep going on with this thing because I think I need inspiration. We all need inspiration. So we talk about what is Inspiration Station. We talk about discovering that's Earth. created on this planet was first a thought. The chair that you're sitting on. Someone had to tie it around our neck and we just flew around the house. You might have thought we was running around the house, but in our mind, we literally became Superman immediately. So, the second meeting was, I got involved with real estate. I bought that Carlton Sheets No Money Down program. I had zero dollars. This man, to the closing. Now, mind you, I didn't have $1,200 of money. After I think about obstacles, I start thinking about something that the military uses, obstacle courses. An obstacle course has been designed since the ancient Greeks. You come across an obstacle, how do we go over these obstacles? And you can look at it like, I come to the front door. Open up the front door, we walk inside the house. The first thing that we see is, what? I chose the cookies, because it was easier, <laughs> but that was actually an obstacle. If you go into the bedroom that's in front of your door, Welcome to obstacles. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. That looks serious. Let's, let's get a little bit. How can I get around the wall or can I go through the wall? Does that make sense? And after I overcome that obstacle, guess what? There's another one. Then another is this thing. The second thing, decide a plan of action. What do I do to overcome it? And when I first moved back to Georgia, about five years ago from my in the water. Everybody ran out the water. Everybody ran out the water. Except for one lady who was a mother. She ran in the water. And she loved her child. A father loves his son. So we will do anything that we can, fight anything that we can to rescue our home. So when you look past the obstacles, as you see the front, the obstacles are really good. And when we overcome these obstacles, we start to realize Think about them, plan a course of action, and do it. Let's speak. Another young man came along, did the exact same thing. And think about it. 